All right, in this video, I want to do some word problems involving velocities or forces. So in this case, we're going to have a boat that's traveling at a speed of 30 miles per hour. And the vector that represents that velocity is uh, 15 uh, multiplied by the vector with components root 2, comma, negative root 2. We want to know what is the bearing of the boat. All right, so a couple things here. Um, so first off, I'm just going to draw the vector with components root 2, comma, negative root 2. So I would just move positive square root of two units, two units to the right and down uh, negative square root of two units. And that would give us our vector. Remember geometrically, if you multiply a vector by a real number, um, if it's a positive uh, real number, all that does is it stretches the vector out, but it still stays pointing in that exact same direction. So to make the arithmetic a little bit easy here, um, I'm just going to work with the vector that uh, the original vector that has components root two, negative root two. So I'm going to make a little uh, right triangle based off of that. So let's see, we've got our triangle here. So this is square root of 2, um, and again, this is, you know, it is negative square root of 2 as a, as a y coordinate, but for my triangle, I'm going to think, well, it's got a length of root 2. So here's my angle theta. Well, to solve for theta, all I'm going to do is just use tangent. So tangent is opposite over adjacent, so we'll get root 2 over root 2, which is just going to be 1. You could always use inverse tangent of both sides, but I know uh, this is an angle that I know tangent of pi over 4, or equivalently 45 degrees, tangent of 45 degrees gives us 1. So now I know this little angle inside of here is 45 degrees. Okay, though, remember with bearings, the way that we describe bearings, um, if you're traveling due north, we would say you're at a bearing of 0 degrees. If you're traveling um, due east, we would say you're at a bearing of 90 degrees. If you're traveling due south, you're traveling at a bearing of 180 degrees. Due uh, west, 270 degrees. And uh, you know you can talk about any angle in between those numbers as well. So in this case, um, if, you, if we went due east, we, we would be at a bearing of 90 degrees. But actually, we traveled an extra 45 degrees. So 90 degrees plus 45 degrees <coughs> is going to give us a bearing of 135 degrees. So that's it. Uh, you just have to be a little more careful when we talk about bearings, you know, because normally if you talked about um, an angle of 135 degrees, we're talking about over here in quadrant two. But bearings uh, work a little bit differently, so just keep this in mind. 